Hi, I'm Rin, and today we're going to talk about the illusion of control. This uh, illusion came to hit me really hard a few years back when I booked a flight from Tucson to Michigan. Um, it was July, and my mom had big Fourth of July plans. And in Tucson, July is the rainy season, and of course it rained and canceled the flight. And my first thought was, oh my God, my mom is going to be so mad at me. As if I somehow made it rain and made it cancel the flight. Yep, I, I don't know how I got that power, but that's what happened. And <laughs> I was worried. I was honestly worried. And then... I mean, that is the, an extreme example of the illusion of control, where we think we have some kind of power over the outcome of things that we have no control over whatsoever. I mean, we can put in the effort to do a good job, hope things go our way, but once we put in the effort we can, take the action we can, the outcome is not up to us. So <clears throat> once we realize that, a lot of stress leaves our lives because it's very stressful thinking that you are in charge of the outcome of everything. And that's when this magical phrase you've probably heard comes in, let go, let God. And I, I love that phrase and I would always say it, you know, let go, let God. Well, just let go, let God. But I never really fully understood what it meant until one day I was on a roller coaster in Coney Island. I was taking the cyclone. It's this old rickety coaster, all wooden, um, all wooden construction. Sounds like it's gonna fall apart any second. Built like 80 years ago, and I'm on the coaster, and it's clickety clacketing up that you know top first big hill. And I look down at my hands, and the knuckles are like stark white. My shoulders are up to my ears, and I'm clenching my teeth like this, and I'm like. This is dumb. This is really dumb. I paid five dollars just to be in terror, you know, and it, it just came to me. Let go, let God. It was kind of like how life is. I mean, the roller coaster track is already all laid out. The roller coaster car is going to go where it's going to go anyway. And I can either worry, fret, and think I have control over the outcome. Or I can let go, let God, and enjoy the ride. So every time uh, I think I'm making it rain again or having control, I think of that roller coaster ride. I think of I got to let go, let God, and things are so much more fun. If you want even more fun, keep in mind I help amazingly creative women who want more out of life than sleep, work, sleep, get their dazzle back so they rock their world. Check out more at RinskyRecovery.com. Until next time.